you don't know him because you want to rush him. Psalm 12, verse 2, New Living Bible. Psalm 12, verse 2, New Living. Neighbors lie to each other. That is. Continue. S speaking with flattering lips. To one another. And neighbor lie to neighbor. That's what is in the world. Eh? Lying to one another. That's why even written contract. People still lie to one another. You die before your time. And you want to die miserable death. When you come out of Jesus. It will be misery upon misery. Whatever Jesus has promised. There is a condition to it. You got to be with him. Whatever prophecy has come over your life. It doesn't mean that you got to go anywhere and live carelessly. No. For that prophecy to come to pass, you got to align your life with the word of God. You see it coming to pass. You want to enjoy the reward of your prophecy. But you cannot, in your own power, try to make the prophecy come to pass. No. It is God who determines the time, not you. That's why I know that God is my source, my continuous source. When it comes to source, source is God. I may be a solution to your problem. You may be a solution to my, to my problem. But you are not my source. Are you listening? You, I may be a solution to your problem. You may be a solution to my problem. But you are not my source. Because that's where we miss it. You, the one who has given a solution to your problem, you think that's your source. No, thank you. Capital no is not your source. Your source is God Almighty. So don't lose focus of that at any given time. That's why I say you have to stand firm with God at any cost. Now you have been weighed down trusting man rather than trusting God. That's why you get offended when man doesn't help you. <laughs> and I don't know why you get offended because man is not your source. If you have helped me one time here in this issue, I shouldn't look to you again for, uh, to help me in another issue. No. God used you to help me in that. Thank you. That way, you are not going to be manipulated by man. That way, you are not going to be controlled by man. That way, you are not going to be weighed down because of man. You'll be independent, and whoever it is will be independent. And you're not going to be offended with anyone. Because you know God is your source. But how have we been living our lives? It hasn't been that. We haven't been trusting God. Jesus has not been on the screen. Even after hearing to this message, to change your focus. There it is. Everyone speaks lies to his neighbor. That's what God is saying. Some of the people are here today in this place. You are disappointed with man. You are here now seeking healing. You are disappointed. You came in here disappointed. And you are still insisting that that person should do something. But here it is. Everyone lies to his neighbor. So leave that man alone. Leave that woman alone. Turn your focus unto God. He will not disappoint you. He will not leave you. He will not fail you. Tell your neighbor. That's all. Man, I tell you, I assure you, will disappoint you. God won't. Man, I tell you, will fail you. God won't. You cannot put trust in man. You can only love man, but not put trust in him. Your trust should be in God. That's a sure foundation. So right now, it is the way you trust God. That's the way, that's who you are now. The way you trust God, that's the way you are now.
if you trust God little, it will show in your life. If you trust God with all your heart, it will show also in your life. God cannot pour all of himself in you when you don't trust him. It's impossible. God cannot reveal plans for your life when you, you don't even come near to him for him to show you the plans for your life. That's why in Mark 9.23, it says, All things are possible to him that believes God. Not believes man. All things are possible to him that believes God. When you believe God, you are not shaken by circumstances. You are not shaken by situations. You are not shaken by the comments of others, by the criticism of others. That has got nothing to do with who I believe in. But look at you. What people say affects you. The circumstances that are outside affect you. Things that are outside come into you to, wreck, to cause havoc. Why? Your trust is not in God. That's why even the love for God for you depends on a lot of things. When things are going well with you, you leave Jesus. When things are going bad, you run to Jesus. You just want to use him the way you've been using man. But you're a failure. You cannot do that to Jesus. He knows. Even what you're thinking right now, he knows. What has brought you here today, he knows. And what you are asking Jesus, to some of you cannot do it because you are not ready for what you are asking for. The same things you are asking him for, those are the things that will take you out of the house of God. God is more interested in your salvation than in your comfort. Tell you never. Yes. He's more interested in your salvation than in your comfort. Because he knows when you are saved, whatever God will bless you with, it will make you glorify God more and you stay in the house of God more. Because a bless, to maintain a blessing of God, you need God. You cannot maintain a blessing of God minus God. It's impossible. You lose it. That's why you see people can come here now seeking healing. They receive healing. You will not see them on Sunday. Where are they? Oh, they have gone to watch rugby. Ah, rugby now. Where are they? They are watching Kaiser Chiefs. It's true. They are forgotten. That's why I say we've got short memory. Very short memory. Those whom God blesses and they are in the house of God, God continues blessing them. Because he can say anything to them, they are going to obey God. Immediately God blesses you, the first thing you think about is holiday. For what? Holiday. To go where? Bible, it has even accumulated dust. They are standards to meet before God blesses you. <laughs> they are standards. When you meet those standards, all shall be well with you. But right now, you are far away from the standards you want God to bless you. Open door, or financial breakthrough, or that house, oh Lord. Or have you made the standard? The same house now will keep you busy. I'm putting flower, I'm putting new curtain, I'm painting, I'm doing this. The house has kept you busy. The house has become your God now. Psalm 23 verse 1. Psalm 23 verse 1. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That is, the Lord is my source. And there ends my story. Whatever difficulty I face, 
as long as the Lord is my source, you will see me through. It's not going to shake me. I'm not going to lower myself so that I have it. If I don't have it now, I know God is my source. He's telling me, my son, wait. I'll give it to you at such, such a time. That's all. Look, when somebody promises you, if he's in Ferenhan, the little money that you have, you're in a taxi going to Ferenhan, and you don't find them. They say they're in Jobek. Look at the phone. Every five minutes, ring. Hello, hello. And they tell you, oh, sorry, ring later, it's busy. Sometimes it doesn't even answer you. Ah, I think it's busy. Anyone who is anxious, anxiety is not of God. Pressure is not of God. And you are here full of anxiety. You are here full of pressure. That's why even your thinking is not normal. When someone is greeting you, how are you, sir? It isn't me. I was greeting you, sir. To know that people are anxious, full of pressure, traffic light, they don't see that it's red. They just go. You don't think well. Your thinking is bit pieces, bit pieces, bit pieces. It's not whole sentence, nothing. You're not normal. And that's what Jesus wants to give you. He says, I want to give you peace. Though you might be going through this and that, this and that, but that peace, you will not be troubled. You may not have what others have, but peace that you have, they won't have. What I'm talking about, the peace I'm talking about, is the Lord Jesus Christ himself who gives you cannot buy this peace with money. Tell your neighbor. You cannot buy this peace with material. Nothing. If money could buy this peace, those who got money, they were going to have a lot of peace. Now I tell you, go to those that are in business and their business is not doing well, uh -huh, and they don't know Jesus Christ. That's why they end up drinking brandy. They think when they drink brandy, the problem will disappear. No. They do all sorts of things. Why? They are under pressure. But if you know, this business was started by God. God gave me this business. Yes, every business will go through a teething problem to grow. But you know, Success is coming. And you are assured. You are at peace. Everybody is saying, about this, about this. It's okay. It's okay. You know that your business is safe in the hands of God. You know it. You know whatever you are doing, God is aware. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to cause you to lose focus. Because when you lose focus, fear comes in. Fear causes you to see things that are not there. Tell your neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Fear will cause you to imagine things that are not there. For example, when you're dismissed at work, when fear comes in, you think the whole world knows. But who are you for the whole world to know you about? You can't even go outside. You think people will laugh at me. That's fear. Fear paralyzes you. It paralyzes the whole system. That's why with fear, people die early. They die before their time. They can't face challenges. Fear robs you of confidence. You cannot have fear and confidence.